and girls, and welcome to another Painting God's Great Book of Nature. Let me ask you something. Have you ever had to wait a really long time for something you really, really, really wanted? Maybe you had to wait for milk to be poured into your favorite cereal. That could be pretty exciting. Maybe you had to wait for your favorite aunt to arrive and she's finally here. Maybe it's your birthday and you're really anxious to open up your presents. Or maybe it's finally your turn to go down the slide. Whee! All these things would be pretty exciting when they finally happen, but the wait is not easy, is it? For those of you who have had a garden, how do you feel when you plant a seed and wait for the sprout? Some seeds sprout in a matter of days, but others seem to take forever. And the worst part is you know you planted the seed, but since you can't see it anymore, you start wondering whether it's still in there or whether it's going to sprout or all these doubts just start popping in your head as you wait. Still nothing. Nope. You know it may take a while, but you also know you'll be happy and excited when it finally sprouts. So you ask God to give you patience while you wait. And then, you keep waiting. Psalms 130 verse 5 says, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in His word I put my hope. You try to remain calm until one day, finally, that thing, that moment, that person, that seed you've been waiting for, it's finally here and you can hardly contain yourself. Oh, I can't believe it! That seed has finally sprouted! How exciting! That reminds me of our waiting for Jesus' second coming. We know he's coming soon and we've tried to wait patiently and we haven't given up hope and we're at the edge of our seat and we're trying to remain calm, but I don't know about you, but when I finally get to see that little cloud in the sky that gets bigger and bigger and I realize that it's Jesus with his angels coming to take me home to heaven, oh, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Oh, the excitement. How can we remain calm? Until next time, boys and girls, ask Jesus to help you wait patiently for his soon return. And as you wait, share this promise with others so that they can share your excitement on that glorious morning. And here's an assignment I'd like you to try. Grab a grown-up and head out to God's nature and find things that are yellow. Don't touch them. Just take a picture and send it to me at nature at startingwithjesus.com. I can't wait to see it. Adios! Uh -huh.